You end up getting that. Uh, you, you, you end up getting the CR, yeah, or the or the, or the one guy. The uh, uh, I can't hear the beat, dog. Turn my headphones up. It's like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh yeah, you had to actually. Yep. Everybody's a rapper. Oh my god, everybody's a rapper. Well, now we have uh <laughs> That's fantastic. We have Ms. Nay is the name featuring young deuces. Why is it always young or old? There's never in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, uh, the song is called Top Up Off the Coop. <laughs> yes. I'm going to read it the most unhip white guy voice ever. <laughs> and uh, it's produced by a guy by the name of John Pimp. You know that's not his real name. <laughs> you know it's not his real name. <laughs> What is the deal with that? Why is everybody wanting to be a pimp? They even say it. It's one of the catchphrases. Pimp it ain't easy. Everybody's a pimp. You probably got to bust your head. Ain't easy at all. Well, we are gonna go to this uh, this track here. Top. My name is John Pimp, and I made this beat. This beat. This beat. This beat. What's up, What's Pimp? Pimp? Sending them checks through, and I'ma need to go clear that boy. 
You see how I'm rolling my shoes and some shag up all then with some bands. Some bands. You see all my whispers on they name my nigga, I ain't talking damn. I ain't talking damn. I caught me a dude the photo, I'm giving it out to my fam. Out to my boss. A boss in the forum, but Miss Nature just keeps showing out in the lamb. <laughs> Shoot life like a movie with big budgets and big names. <laughs> We bought like the 90s cause all of my brothers got big chains got big Our logo is fire cause homie you know my whole team flame uh -huh. While I hop with your girl around the house like a nigga was Dean Wayne I'm top of the fuck cool, I'm laid back on the street I'm flying a day, hit the highway, I'm trying to find me something to do My top of the fuck cool, I'm laid back on the street When I come through this car show, man, they don't know what to do My top of the fuck cool, I'm laid back on the street Okay, that is, that is... We got we got Angel joining us. I think that there he is. Well, uh, but but before before we get to Angel, what did you think of that song? It wasn't it wasn't bad. It's not gonna get to Fonzie. A. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was produced by a guy by the name of John Pimp. <laughs> that's, that's right, the rental coop. <laughs> it's a philosophy. There you go. Hey, Angel, how are you, sir? What's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> well, me, me and uh, me and Derek were just sitting here uh, talking. We, we 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 were playing this song called "Off the Top of the Coop," whatever the hell that means. And uh, it was it was it was produced it was produced by a guy by the name of John Pimp and I'm like yeah that's his real name. <laughs> Are you sitting alone, Angel? Are you there? Well, Angel? by myself. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. Bullshit! You're not by yourself. Quit lying, dude. Oh. No, I'm not really. I'm I'm watching Stanford and Son. What? <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> On this episode, Fred uh, fakes his death so he can get a date with Lena Horn. <laughs> <laughs> Good old class. The old, the old classics. Well, I, I heard they're going to remake uh, some of the old. I heard that. I don't know if you can remake Sanford and Son, though. That's. Uh, you, nah, that's nah. That, nah that, you, know, you, know, you know, Red Fox is gone. He, he, I mean, you just can't. There's certain stuff they should just leave alone. That's right. You know, certain stuff you should just leave alone. Certain stuff they shouldn't produce a sequel to. <laughs> Absolutely. They should have not made a black Annie. No. And they should not make a white, a white uh, shaft. No, I mean, those are the two no, things you don't. You just don't with. touch. You just leave those alone. Absolutely. They're remaking chips. Yeah, oh, eh, but it's not. I, I, yeah, I, but I, I really never watched that anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> so you don't care. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I never watched it, but I saw the trailer for it, and you know, man, they they're, they're pretending to be chips, or they're not really doing chips. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I never really watched it. You know, I kind of stayed away from police shows. <laughs> Miami Vice was okay though, cause dude was just smooth though. They was just too smooth. All white suits, just yeah. pimpish and lavish. They didn't. They well, didn't, they didn't know, do the remake Justice either though. Well, just, uh, just I don't know if you already brought this up, but I just found out today that uh, Jimmy Snooker passed away. Oh shit! Oh yeah, so shit! I just wanna, yeah, so I want to send out my condolences wow. to his family. I knew Jimmy on the road, um, but I just found out today he passed away. Sorry Damn. to hear. Superfly what? Jimmy want, Snuka. No. Already here, man. Condolences to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, he, so you heard that here first. Yes, he, you heard he, it here he first. He recently uh, was able to, uh, or I, I guess, he, well, he's he's passed away now. It's not going to really matter. But they were going to try to reopen the case of him allegedly getting a hold of that chick a few years ago, or what was it, 85, 86? Supposedly killed some yeah, chick, it was an 80. and it was covered up and. It was kind of a weird deal, and oh man, <laughs> you know the only the thing the thing that got me not upset is just what's a trip about it is that okay, fine, this happened in the eighties. They're trying to convict him on you know, charges in regards to her death, you know. But WWE just automatically just takes him off, you know, the Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty, yeah. you know. And man, they should at least give him the benefit of the hey, doubt you know, until 
it would have settled in court. Hey, that's not America. Otherwise, people will still be free and, and be facing the yeah. charge. You guilty till you prove yourself innocent. Especially if you're black or uh, or Latino or Puerto Rican or any kind of anything less than white, you're pretty much guilty till you. Yeah. But I, but you know it's funny. I bet I, I won't be surprised right now if if WWE will say, oh, you know, our condolences, you know, give the bullshit. That's and then all of a sudden to put them back in the Hall of Fame. That's what they got. It's some do. bullshit. It, 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 yeah, but it's still it, bullshit. It, it'll boost the ratings. It'll make them look like they are caring and 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 trying to be supportive. That's right. You know, it, it's it's what they say. Uh, no publicity is no no publicity no publicity is bad, bad publicity. There it is. I don't know because um, my publicity has always been bad. So, <laughs> 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 so I, I never knew that. Yeah, I, hear you. I never knew that that was good, but. I, I guess, I guess that is true. A, a, a local artist that used to be local, he was starting to blow up before he got killed, found in Nevada. Y'all ever heard of Fat Tone? Yes. You know he got. I heard of Tone Loke. No, no. Heard of Tone Loke. You know, I'm not talking Funk, about Funky Cole Medina. I'm not talking about Funky Cole Medina. I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm there at, you go. I'm talking about this. It was a rapper called Fat Tone. They broadcast because he was supposedly allegedly killed some people. And like after they heard that, but he's a he was a gangster rapper too. So every after that, everything just skyrocketed. Everybody bought his CDs, his tapes. They was like, he's a gangster. <laughs> he's got street cred now. So I guess I guess bad publicity is still good publicity. I guess. Well, yeah, but it is what it is. I mean, that's a. I mean, I'm just putting it out there. You know, that you know, I won't be surprised. They try to put him back on the Hall of Fame. They try to like. With that little, uh, you know, condolences before Raw, and make it think that nothing ever happened, especially when they just dropped him from the wayside. When he was like, "Well, you know, that he, they made it seem like he was guilty until you know they didn't even let him go to court and at least prove he was innocent." You, you know, how many people have have the the World Wrestling Federation just? As soon as something came up, they just dipped and ran. They took off. They moved Hogan. quicker than they moved quicker than Speedy Gonzalez. Who, they got rid of Hogan that way. Yeah, who have they ever really <laughs> stuck by? And and Hogan was what what made them. But as soon as something come up, pew pew pew, they gone. Gone. Gone yeah. with the wind. Well, they got rid of Snooker. Got rid of Hogan. Uh, well, they moved quicker than Cupcakes at a fat kid party. I I could I could throw Chris Benoit in there, but. We don't need that. Is know. that is that's a totally he, different story. He, he did that's totally kill different. two people. That's so. a totally different story. Yeah. Hey man, but the guy, hey, they gave him, the, they let him have the drug. Never mind. Anywho, anywho, he was drugged up. Shit happens when you're drugged. Well, that's Le- too. Lesson, kids, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck up your life. That's right. <laughs> now uh, we've got Angel with us today. We've got. Uh, Mr. Derek Scaife in studio. We're supposed to have the sick and the twisted supposedly here in a few. Um, Aiden Starr is going to join us at the top of the hour, and uh, something that uh, an angel will be interested in this. I found out who is the the opening uh, sponsor for the registration of the Adult Video News Awards is the Bad Dragon people. So I'm going to go <sighs> confront them about hey. What about these emails I've been sending you? How come you can't respond to emails? Well, no. <laughs> Absolutely, man. The world wants to know about this bad dragon. That's right. Explain bad dragon to Derek. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who the hell they are. And I was, <laughs> this is... I was thinking of Oriental. This is the craziest thing you've ever heard. Go well, on, um, you know, A friend of mine put me up on this website called Bad Dragon. Um, so just try to go 